In New Zealand, we've got a phenomenon going on. Um, social media is the, is the key. And we also need young people. And I'm pleased to say that in New Zealand, a young man by the name of Luke Kemmies stepped up unsolicited, unasked, and started a Facebook page called Boys Get Paid. Innocuous sort of way that people sort of put in their tips and everybody gets to find out a winner. Well, this young man has grown that web page, Facebook page significantly to the point that at the 2018 New Zealand Thoroughbred Racing Awards, he was presented with the Media Award. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to Mr. Luke Kemmies, who's gonna give a bit of a background. Thank you, Steve. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous. I think uh, taking over the cocktail party is two Kiwis, so hopefully no one throws anything at me, but um, I'm here to just give you a few pills of wisdom from things that we've seen over the past eight years from basically starting a Facebook group, which was five guys that love racing and love having a beer, love having a bet and a bit of banter, and now we're sitting at 13,000 people. So um, we've had a heap of fun along the way, and I think we sort of come to age in the last couple of years by going to a few race meets and then Ben down here making a few videos of us just getting really passionate and enjoying the sport that you guys work so hard to put on. Uh, basically, we're just the punters at the end of the day, but there's so many exciting stories that can come out of punting and racing, and obviously the Red Zell guys are an absolute picture of that and what is possible. So hopefully making a little clip of what they've been up to. Um, just a, a real quick one, basically we, we started a, a punters club, we got about $4,000 in a kitty with a group of guys that were on course for a race meet and we thought why can't we change that and make it that if you're not at this race meet you can still put your $100 in and you can follow it along. So foolishly I set up a sign up link and thought if we get 20 grand in a pot we'll be doing pretty well and I uh, ended up with 58000 in my personal bank account to take to the races. So. We turned that 58,000 into 136, and I didn't sleep for six days trying to figure out how to refund uh, about 300 people, but we had a bit of fun doing it. And so we're all about raising the bar and just doing things a bit better. Like for us, it just comes purely out of passion and we, and we love the game. And so we thought, right, next year, let's see if we can make it even bigger. And we ended up getting $177,000 in a, in a pot to take to the Karaka Million, our race day in January at Ellerslie. Uh, and we only broke even on, the, on that day, but we've got now $100,000 left over and so we're creating a $10,000 a week punters club over 10 weeks. So from a punting perspective, we've just figured out that people want to see and be a part of something big. We don't have the same racing culture as you guys do here in Australia, so I think you've got a, a big advantage there. But one thing we also identified in New Zealand is obviously, as you guys can probably uh, appreciate, stakes are very low. So we get people saying, hey, why can't you get guys into racing horses? And we've done so much work to build this audience and keep them engaged and keep them exciting. And most of it's been done out of hunting. But if we go to them and say, hey, race a horse, and then they get burnt early on with the stakes, etc., and the reality of racing a horse, we don't want to turn that audience off. So luckily for us, uh, Tiakau, who are great supporters of New Zealand racing, came along to us and said, look, we don't want you guys to necessarily have to front up the costs of racing, but we'd love to give you a couple of 5% shares in two fillies. So if you wanted to, as part of the group, you could sign up to, to one of the fillies and basically you sign up to the email list as if you were a, an owner. You weren't a registered owner as such, but they have full intention of taking these horses to the races and give everyone, everyone a good time. So we put that out there and we thought, well, this will be interesting to see how well it is received. And at that stage, I think the Facebook group was sitting at about 10,000 people. And we signed up 1,000 people to get the updates and follow the horse, the two horses along their journey. So just to give you a bit of context to that, the registered owner base of horses in New Zealand is about 16,000. So we've basically done the work of New Zealand Thoroughbred Racing, uh, should I say, to, to introduce more people to the game. and. We want to do more of that. It's, it's such an awesome sport with so much context to what, what can happen. And, and I think there's so many great stories that come out of it. So I think a couple of takeaways for you guys from what we've seen, like we've been passionate about this for eight years now and just been chipping away and getting people involved. And what we've noticed that works is sometimes just the little things around communication, video updates, uh, getting people involved, breaking down some of those barriers. And so, one of our projects this year is basically to try and tie in how the breeding side of it works for our group. So 
we're taking a bit of a risk and we're going to try and pin hook a weanling to a yearling. So there's a fair bit of task there. So we're going to try and get 100 people in it, probably $1,000 each, and go along to the sales and buy a weanling and, and document that whole journey from buying it through to turning it into a yearling and then hopefully selling it on the last day uh, of the sale. So a bit of a risky play from us, but we've had a bit of support from New Zealand Bloodstock, so hopefully we can get that done. Um, I just wanted to thank Tasmania for Racing for having us over here and experience a little bit of what you guys are, are doing in your backyard here. It's been some great hospitality and we've had a heap of fun so far and we're going to try and make a few videos. So we're around for the sales tomorrow if anyone wants to come and pick our brains about some of the other things that we've been doing. We've been doing this for eight years now for love basically and we're going to look to try and uh, make a bit of money and basically solidify what we are doing so we can do more of what we're doing to hold that audience captive back there in New Zealand of horse racing. We had 60 guys that were keen to come to the Cox Plate and jumped in a plane and came over and watched Winks. We can't even get 60 guys to go to the harness meets in New Zealand. So you've got things that are positive over here. I think it's about working together and collaborating and figuring out how you can innovate and continue to raise the bar. I think in New Zealand we left it behind and we just expected it all to, to change and to get better. And so now we're, we're realising the fate of doing that. So I think if you guys can figure out innovative ways to get people involved and maybe offer something free to touch them once and then talk to them later on, it's a great way to do it. So like I say here, for until Wednesday, we're going to be experiencing Cup Day. I did say we'll, say we'll probably have 100 beers or so. We uh, didn't go so well having a bet today on course, so we've done something for turnover, which is good. Um, and we've got a nice red zell cap to go home with too, thanks guys. So if you, if you want to touch base or say hello or pick our brains, more than happy for you guys to reach out and, and ask us. And again, thanks for having us and we wish you all the best for the sales. You know, you guys work so hard to put this great sport on and um, hopefully you have a, uh, the best sale yet. Cheers. Luke Kermes, ladies and gentlemen, you can see as I've got older and greyer and I work towards retirement that racing in New Zealand is in great hands. We've got a young man who's positive about that.